Hi, this is Farrell, and this video today is me drawing this guy and painting him, mostly painting him, because uh, most of the drawing is off camera. That's the start of it, <laughs> an idea like how rough it is going for me at first. And so that's basically after several hours of looking at a reference photo. That's why I didn't uh, videotape that part or in a video, whatever this is, uh, record that part was because I, like I've said this before, I don't have a printer and I don't uh, have like a fancy camera. I just use my phone for this. So I use my phone for reference rather than printing out a reference photo and like filming that. Um, so yeah, it took me a while to get this. Uh, someone sent a pet. They wanted a, a pet portrait done. I've done these kind of drawings before where I have a, like a cat head on a space adventure -er type person. And uh, someone reached out to me and was like, hey, I want you to do the, uh, my bet my dogs and do it kind of like this other thing that you've done. So I was like, that seems fun. Cause I like doing that. So <laughs> the, uh, the portrait part's very challenging for me. Uh, usually with the, the space cat thing, I just sort of make up the cat head or look at something, but just do something quick. That's like easy where this is like, Oh, I want to capture like the dog's likeness and his expression or whatever. And, uh, I had to use a phone too for his handkerchief because that was one of the stipulations was that the uh, commissioner was asked me to uh, include the, his uh, bandana and so I, I just asked him what his name was because I couldn't really read the lettering and the photo he sent me but uh, I, I, I penciled him in there and you'll see in a bit when I actually start to draw on the the dog's name but um, yeah I used reference to for uh, some of the drawing here with the the, the sword holding the hand, I think I Google image search like sword coming out of scabbard or something like that. Um, and yeah, here I'm just going over all the pencil lines. And I, I, I did this one pretty tight just because I, I didn't want to have to fuss with stuff with the paints too much because it always takes me longer. And um, yeah, so uh, I can kind of just shut my brain off here. And I think I was probably listening to like an audio book. Um, I think I was list I'm listening to currently a peculiar peril by the uh, blanking on his name the guy who did the annihilation books and it's pretty good but uh <laughs> it's really hard for me to get into so like I have to it has to be doing something like this where I'm not thinking as much like I'm still thinking like okay what do I want to leave out here what do I want to let the paints do and I actually kind of went a little overboard I was in originally intending not to put line like black lines on his pants and some of the wrinkles I was just going to leave alone, but I, uh, I just kind of, kind of got absorbed with making the line. Like I think Mobius calls it getting intoxicated. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's for me, it's just kind of like, Oh, I'm into this audiobook and I'm not really paying attention. And I kind of let my mind slip and I start to just make lines wherever there's a, a pencil line instead of just going in and, uh, thinking about where I want to put the black. Like, well, okay, I'm going to paint this so I don't have to, I don't have to just put a line around every little pencil mark. Like I can let the paints do that and it'll actually probably look better. Um, kind of like I did with the head where I didn't really go in with any inks on the head. I, I mostly just, it's all watercolor. And I think when I was penciling, I think I did kind of touch up the eyes and the nose or after I was done painting it, maybe I did a little bit with the pen, but, um, or I might have just used a brush with black ink. I think, in fact, that's what I think I did. So uh, that may or may not be on the video at the end. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is just me going over pencil lines mostly and trying to figure out like what would look better as just a pencil line or what does look better as like an outline with a, uh, the <clears throat> Faber-Castell pit pen. I'm going to include all the, I do it every one of these videos, I include all the little material lists that I use. So if you want to look what kind of pen I'm using or brush or any of that stuff. It's on there. Yeah, but the uh, on the Space Cat ones, I, I usually uh, color him orange, like a pretty bright orange. But I was thinking since like this dog had the, the bright red bandana and his head was in the photo, at least <laughs> in this uh, video. But his photo, he, he was kind of more of a yellowish tinge. It seemed like kind of more yellow and red. And I, I painted him a little dull. His head a little duller here. But... Um, I thought like, oh, I should make the uniform then like a dull color because so, so the other stuff will pop more. But then I think once I started to fill in the torso, I was like, eh, I'll just keep adding orange here. So it ended up being kind of more, I guess, bright than I originally intended, but I like it better than 
I guess what my original intention was. <laughs> um, the one part was like a little chest thing. I, I should have just probably painted that orange, but I think it ended up being like purple or something. And I was like, ah, it's done. I don't want to keep kind of fussing with it. I just wanted to get it done in one in one session, which took me a few hours. But um, as you can see here, the watercolor part going a lot faster than uh, um, the uh, even the pen stuff, it seems like to me, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it took me around the same time. I think going in with the big areas is like pretty fast work, but doing all the little little details or even like the, the darker colors, you know, like the sword and the belt and all that kind of stuff. For some reason, that takes me longer, I guess, because I'm adding more. I just have to be a little tighter and more controlled, maybe. I don't know. Um, also, too, I'm trying to think more about like, I guess, where cast shadows and stuff will fall. <laughs> Um, I know that sounds kind of silly. I'm like 50 years old and I'm just now getting an idea of this stuff. I'm a slow, a slow learner, but, um, yeah, I think these are like slowly improving. It, although I sometimes have like, like what is wrong with me drawing like weird little creatures holding swords and guns? Like I'm not, I don't have any swords or guns in my life or, <laughs> but I just, I, I think I was thinking about this the other day. I think it kind of comes from me looking at this, like, I was raised like real religious and uh, I'm not anymore, but when I was a little kid, uh, my mom came back from this Christian book convention with this uh, album. I remember the name of the band was called Undercover and it was like boys and girls renounce the world or something like that. It had some kind of title, but it was, it was a little kids. They were even younger than me on that. They were like toddlers or something, but they had like punk rock haircuts and like studded bracelets and like sword holding swords and stuff. So I was like, that looks cool and <laughs> I don't know I don't I think I listened to the album years later but it was uh I liked it it was like this kind of bouncy pop music but um I don't know there's just a little insight of maybe where that comes from but um anyway this is the finish uh check out my patreon if you want to get one of these commissions or just want to see what I'm up to and uh it's the links in the description thanks for watching bye